What is up, YouTube? I want to give a shout out to um, Riley McDonald. He's a um, a newer fan of mine from Australia, and his buddy shared a joke with him, and he wanted me to share this joke with y'all on YouTube. So um, let's see here. Um, what do you call it when a student is making a pizza instead of studying? Well, what do you call it when a student is making a pizza instead of studying? That's easy, you call it procrastination. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I didn't mean to sleep all goddamn day again, but it was my day off, and, eh. and as far as I know, I go back to work tomorrow on Friday, and it's only for a couple of hours, too. And I've been trying to find another job, but it's, it's difficult, YouTube. It's an election year, and... Um... Yeah. Hmm. Prince Albert or the sweet stuff. Yeah. I'm going to go for some of this Prince Albert. I got pipe tobacco, a lot of pipe tobacco right now, so I'm set on pipe tobacco for a minute. I just need some nicotine right now. And then here comes my little bag of Prince Albert to the rescue. Dun, da, da, da. Um, my DMT levels have been pretty high lately. Um, whenever I sleep, my dreams have, whenever I've actually had dreams at night, my dreams have been pretty, uh, pretty vivid, which I like it when my dreams get crazy, wild, random, and vivid. They're quite fun. But then you wake up and you're like, fuck, man, that was so, you know what I'm saying? That is the crazy thing about having a realistic dream, so to speak, is that, you know, the DMT starts firing off in your skull because you brain produces it naturally. Um, yeah, it's crazy stuff, man. You know, I have no idea when my uh, Cradle of Filth t-shirt is going to get here, but hopefully it gets here soon. Like, I woke up at, like, 8 o'clock this morning, and I'm like, eh, I could sleep for a little bit longer. If I would have slept till, like, 10 or 11 or 12, I would have been okay with that, but 3.40 p.m., it's almost 4 o'clock, like... I didn't mean to sleep that goddamn long.
down, I have like $116.66 coming my way from my PayPal account. That's what's up. I might go out and treat myself to a burger because I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, you know, actually, I might go to the bar with some of that money because I haven't done that in a while. I can't remember the last time I went to the bar. You know, I, I kind of laugh when my friends say, you need to get laid. Shut the fuck up, dude. I need to smoke some weed and play some guitar. That's what I need to do. See, to me, sex is overrated when you can smoke pot. It's just how I view it. And it's weird. It's weird because before you've ever had, if you're if you're still a virgin, you know. There's all this hype and mysterious bit about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can remember when I was a virgin at one point, and like a lot of virgins, you know, you hear all this talk about sex and shit like that, and you think to yourself, well, what's the big deal, you know? You want to have it, but you're still a virgin, and, you know, then you finally get some pussy, and you're like, that's it? That's what our society fusses about? That's what advertising, you know, advertising, there's a lot of sexual shit in advertising, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like getting it, but, you know, if I had a choice between having sex or smoking pot, I'd smoke some pot. And the reason I say this is because there's a whole lot there's a whole lot of risk involved with sex, but there's hardly any risk involved with smoking marijuana. You ain't gotta worry about protection and STDs and pregnancy with pot. You really don't.
that's one of the things that really prevents me from wanting to have sex, you know. I'm, I'm clean, thankfully enough, and I haven't gotten anybody pregnant, so that's a good thing. But, um, uh, STDs and pregnancy are just a couple of things that really turn me off from wanting to have sex. I mean, if you manage to find If you manage to find a woman that's clean and she's not going to treat you like shit or start drama, you know, or any of that, then yeah, you know, it's pretty awesome. But when you haven't been laid in so fucking long, you stop caring. You literally just, you stop caring. It becomes a uh, defense mechanism, so to speak. The people on YouTube are, um, pleasantly shocked people on YouTube are pleasantly shocked when I say I have a hard time getting a girlfriend like you're handsome you have big muscles you play guitar you're a mildly famous YouTuber and growing how the fuck you know eh. your guess is as good as mine When you live in a state like Wyoming, where the male to female ratio is, you know, there's more males in this state than there are females, and that definitely plays a contributing factor to my predicament. I could do when I get my check is go to the bar and uh, show y'all how I make Cobra's Mist. It's pretty easy to make. You mix Blue Moon beer with Mountain Dew, and uh, Blue Moon Blue Moon beer with Mountain Dew mix is pretty good. You know, some people might think that oh you're, you're mixing soda with beer. What the fuck is wrong with you? But then, if you've ever tried Blue Moon beer mixed with Mountain Dew, it's actually quite delicious. The citrusiness of the Mountain Dew complements the Blue Moon's taste quite exquisitely, actually.
And usually if I get some Cobras mixed when I'm at a bar, what I'll do is I'll order a pitcher of Blue Moon beer and a Mountain Dew. And then when I drink enough of the pitcher that I can pour my cup of Mountain Dew into the pitcher, I'll do that. You know. It's been months since I've been to a bar. Boy Scotty says, Well, that's just part of taking a risk, isn't it? You know, when I had mentioned basically a little bit of what I said in this video, you know, he pointed out that, Well, you smoke tobacco, so you take the risk of getting lung cancer. in all honesty I think I'd rather have I'd rather run run the risk of getting lung cancer before I catch an STD fuck that man um but by the time I'm old enough to where tobacco starts to seriously affect my health though I've legalized cannabis and I can use that for treatment so I'm not worried about it reason why I can't get a girlfriend is because I have confidence issues. I'm not going to mince words or deny it. I feel somewhat um, unattractive to the opposite sex. Yeah. There's days I feel like that. days I feel like I'm as boring as watching paint dry.
I must confess, YouTube, it feels rather difficult to have confidence in yourself when 98% of the time I'm just rejected anyway, you know? So it kind of feels like that even if I did have confidence in myself, I'd be wasting my time. And uh, there's a lot less difficulty in being single. You, you don't have to try to be single. You really don't. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot less heartache and emotional drama and bullshit with being single. But choosing to be single, you know, you, you're gonna get lonely. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, and another reason why I have a hard time getting a girlfriend is because. Unlike pretty much every other guy out there, I'm not as easily pussy whipped. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll do the bare basics to get it. You know what I'm saying? I have no problems with that. But I don't jump through hoops and go through the extra mile just to get it. You know what I'm saying? Not unless, not unless it's. Not unless it's some damn good pussy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sweet stuff out. You know, I keep hearing people say this on social media whenever I talk about these subjects. Oh, don't worry, you'll find somebody and she'll make your world a whole lot better. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I'll believe it when it happens. Looks like Colorado basically just broke their own goddamn record with marijuana sales. Yeah. I saw that article on Facebook and I'm like, well, how about that? Also, I saw in Colorado that in July they're going to make edible gummy bears illegal. What the fuck? Really? You motherfuckers legalized marijuana for recreational and medical use, and you're gonna make edibles like that illegal? What the fuck, man? Seriously? That's fucking stupid. 
Wow. I've seen some stupid things in my day, but that just takes the fucking cake. <laughs> Why the fuck are they making edibles in Colorado illegal? Why? Why, why are they making edible gummy bears illegal in Colorado? It's stupid. What, what, what? Your state's legal for marijuana and you're making edibles like that illegal. It makes no goddamn sense to me.
yeah, waiting for the right girl to come along can take a lifetime, but it's definitely worth it. Anyways, this is King Cobra JFS with another video. Thank you for watching. Catch y'all later.